Hello and welcome to the Britpart Workshop. My name is Danny Hopkins and we're here in Shropshire with Paul Myers, Britpart MD. Paul, tell me, what's the best thing about working here? It's a variety of vehicles that we supply parts for. They're fantastic vehicles, a Land Rover range. And we cover the whole range really from early to late. So every day is different. Every day presents a different challenge. Brilliant. Um, today we're going to be going back in time, aren't we? Absolutely. What yes. have we got here? This is a carburetor off a, a Series 3 Land Rover. Um, it's two and a quarter petrol engine. Um, fitted to literally hundreds of thousands of vehicles around the world mm. um, and it's critical that this is set up correctly. Yes, and uh, Britpart offer a version of this, don't they, and, and another? Uh, Absolutely, we, we do a version of this carburetor and we also do a Weber carburetor for the same application. Yeah. Uh, the Weber carburetor is, is a, a slight upgrade in that it meters the fuel better. Okay. Uh, and will give a bit better performance and economy. Okay, and why would you want to replace a carburetor rather than maybe try and rebuild something that's old? Um, a lot of the parts aren't available now for the older um, um, carburetors, yeah. and also if you get wear on these spindles, uh -huh. um, it will suck air into the body and you can never adjust them correctly after that. No, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, which are the screws that we have to look at? Because we're going to be having it on the vehicle in a minute, but it's good to, now it's off on the bench. Have a quick this look. is the main adjustment screw, which yeah. is the, the fuel mixture screw. Yeah. And then on the other side of the carburetor, we've got the idle adjustment screw gotcha. to set the idle. Fine, brilliant stuff. Okay, so we're going to go over to our military spec 109 right now. We're going to see Martin and Steve and see if they can get it running absolutely perfectly. Right, here we are with our Land Rover Series 3. This one's fitted with the two and a quarter petrol engine. Um, this is the original carburetor from the engine. It's a great carb, but it's difficult to get parts for these old Zeniths now. So what we've done is replace it with an equivalent unit, which is supplied by Britpart. Um, very easy to fit this, this carb. There's a couple of small adjustments that can be made to it. Uh, one of which being the idle speed and the other is the fuel mixture at idle. Uh, those adjustments need to be made just so that the engine runs sweetly when it's at tick over and the emissions are within specification for the MOT. Before we make any adjustments to the carb, it's really important that all the ignition components are in top condition, including your coil, HT leads, distributor, points and plugs. Uh, when you're happy that they're in good condition, make sure the timing is spot on as well before you do make any carburetor adjustments. Uh, it's easy enough to find your uh, correct timing settings in the workshop manual for your engine. So, what we have here is a timing light which also displays the idle speed and how it does that is it picks up, it's got an inductive sensor that we've plugged onto the number one HT lead. So when Steve starts the engine, this will display our idle speed and the correct speed for this engine is between 750 and 800 RPM. So Steve, if you start her up. So that's settled a little bit low. We're at about 650 on and off. So what we need to do is increase the idle speed and that will be a delicate balancing act between increasing the idle and still making sure the vehicle's running at the correct fuel mixture. And how we're gonna check that is at the other end of the vehicle, we've got a gas analyzer poked into the exhaust, which will give us a reading of the mixture and we can make the adjustments accordingly. We're almost there now, we're at about 730, so a little tweak more on the idle speed screw. So we've set our idle speed. As you can see, the timing light is between 750 and 800. So now that that is set, the next stage is to adjust the idle mixture. And that's done with a screw that's just inboard of the carburetor. Steve's just tweaking that now. And the reason for doing that is that for the MOT, the CO mixture from the exhaust must be below 3%. At the moment, we're just above three. So Steve's gonna lean the mixture out slightly at idle. And that's obviously really important for the MOT, but there are many other reasons why your engine needs to be running the correct fuel mixture. And here's Fuzz to explain why. Loads of people love a circus, and in every great circus, there ought to be a fantastic balancing act. Now, in your car's engine bay, there is another fantastic balancing act, and that is the balance between air and fuel. So air and petrol. The carburettor performs that great balancing act. 
if you have too much air and not enough fuel, the combustion in the combustion chamber will be hot, hot enough to melt aluminium pistons. Not a great thing. If, however, conversely, there is too little air to too much fuel, then you will get an unclean burn where you get a lot of carbon buildup. So the internals of your combustion chamber get dirty, the valves get dirty, everything gets covered with a layer of soot which hardens up and chokes your vehicle, effectively stopping it from breathing properly. The carburetor's balance is vital to your engine's health. We've got the gas analyzer plugged in. The magic number we're looking for is 3% CO out of the exhaust. That's, that's what we need for MOT. At the moment, it's a touch above 3%. So what we're gonna do, Steve's just gonna adjust the idle mixture screw to lean it off slightly to bring the CO down. So it's just dipping below three now. And Steve's just tweaking the screw. It's mounted inboard on the carb towards the rocker cover. As he adjusts that, you can see the CO reading come down and now we're well within specification. So just gonna recheck the idle speed. That's still perfect. So that carburetor is now set up. For more handy tips on how to work on your Land Rover, check out the other videos in the Britpark Workshop series.